Welcome back to Retro Game Geek. So you may know that you can play PSP, original PlayStation, and even some PS2 on the Odin. But did you know you can play PS4 on the Odin? So this was news to me. With the PS Play app, if I push that, I can do local connect and connect directly to my PS4, which is pretty incredible. You even have the touch controls here. If you don't touch anything for a few seconds, all the touch controls will disappear. All right, so let's go over. I feel like playing some uh, hot shot racing. So let's play some of that. And you can see that there's, at least I can't see any lag. So that, uh, if anyone wants to play back the video frame by frame and let me know if they see any lag, you're welcome to. You see the sound is coming over here too. I turned the sound off on the TV, so all the sound is coming from the handheld now. All right, let's get into it. Do a single race. Let's just do the. Yeah, it's fine. Start. I'll be Kaiko. Mm -hmm. Okay, loading. <laughs> this is so impressive, and this is coming over in 720p, and this could be 1080p if I had a PS4 Pro. Let's race. Oops. <laughs> well, I highly recommend this game, by the way. It's a whole lot of fun. It has that virtual racing feel in the Sega days. And Nitro. Alright, I think you see that it works. I wouldn't recommend this for complex games, like I tried this with Rocket League, but the controls are just a bit rough on a handheld. So I just couldn't get into it. There we go. So I think that's enough. Now to so I can pause it here just like always. The start. So this Maps to the share button on a PS4 controller. The share button here. And the start maps to the options button over there. So the question is how do you get to the PS button? Well, you can just tap the screen. This little drawer pops up here and you can push the PS button. And I'm back to my PS4 menu. I could even like go shopping here. <laughs> um, one thing to note is that PlayStation Now you can play anything that's downloaded to your console, but you can't stream straight from PlayStation Now. And I hope eventually Sony finally adds the ability to stream directly to mobile like they do with, like Xbox does, with xCloud. So now I'll show you how to set this up. So I recommend the PS Play app on the Google Play Store. This costs right now for me, it costs six euros. And so you just install this, and then I'll show you how to set it up on the TV. So you go into settings on your PS4. You go down to remote play connection settings. You want to make sure enable remote play is checked. You don't want to connect directly to with the PS Vita or PS TV, so leave that unchecked unless you want to, if you have that too. Um, add device, you go to here and then you'll get a code and you use this code to connect your PS4 to your uh, Odin locally. So I'm not going to show you that on the Odin, that's pretty self-explanatory how that works. Um, one thing I want to show you real quick though is if you go to the power save settings, then you go into set features available in rest mode and 
What you mainly want to look for is enable turning on PS4 from network. This will allow you, while it is in rest mode, to connect with your Odin. So you could be in a different part of your house. Just turn on your Odin, um, hit PS play, and it'll turn on automatically for you here. So now we're gonna wake up the PS4 from sleep. We'll open the PS play app. Um, first of all, I'll show you some uh, quick options I do. I did not set up the vibration because I find the vibrations really annoying going from the PS4 to the handheld. But go to streaming options. The key thing here is the resolution. By default, it's set to 540p, but you definitely want that to be 720p or it's going to be really blurry. And if you have a PS4 Pro, you can also set it to 1080p. Uh, problem with the PS5, I've heard, is that the triggers don't go down all the way. So if you put your Odin triggers down 100%, only shows about 50% on a PS5. So I hope this gets fixed in some kind of update from someone. <laughs> so let's go into the connection now. So we go local connect. Um, you can also have remote connect if you want to connect over a network, but you need to open some ports on your router so you can connect remotely. Waking it up. Takes a little while to do this. So I'm not fast forwarding through this, so you can see exactly how long it takes. I just think it's fantastic that I can actually connect to my PS4 from my Odin. It's incredible. There we go. And we're in. So, you can go to all your games just like before. Don't know why this isn't showing up here. Maybe my PS4 is still sleeping. <laughs> Wake up, PS4. Time to play a game. There we go. <laughs> Normally I have my PS4 set to that when it turns on, it automatically turns the TV on. But even though it turned on, it uh, never turned on the TV. Which is nice, because if someone's in the living room, I'm not going to annoy them with my PS4 all of a sudden. Like, I don't know what's going on. More loading time, yay! And the screen looks amazing. Yeah, this is crazy, this is even 720p and it already looks amazing. And Odin's 1080p monitor. Alright, so anyway, you see it works? I can crash. Oh no, it crashed. <laughs> but yeah, I can just like sit in bed, dodge the cops in bed. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. Playing my PS4 on my Odin. Today I never imagined when I backed it over five months ago. So does this mean that you can play a two-player game when one, where one plays with the controller and the TV and you just look at your Odin? I don't know, I haven't tried that. <laughs> Would it also be worth a try? Yes. <laughs> I'm thinking of worms. <laughs>
Let's see, if I want to go into the PlayStation menu again, I just hit here, hit, hit the PlayStation button, and I'm back here. Uh, if you want, you can try to connect with a controller. Mm -hmm. There we go. The oh. TV now turns on. Oh, now the TV turns on because the controller's yeah. interesting. So you go ahead and pick your account. It's my account. Now let's see if we can play. It's still your account. Okay, hit your PS button. Go to your account. And pick worms. I think that's what you want to try. Yes. So okay. your screen is you... exactly what the TV is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just mirrored what's on the TV to what's on my uh, handheld. Mm -hmm. See, there you go. Mm -hmm. So whether you have the TV on or not, you could play two players with one person holding the game pad and another one with a second controller. So can you have the controller? Mm -hmm. That's me? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be tasty even in the living. I have to be tasty. <laughs> Alright. This, this is gonna start. I just, just wanna show the game running. Yes. <laughs> but I will not play without tasty. Kay. Team tasty all the way. <laughs> Such a great two player game. And you can also play Worms WMD on Xbox Cloud Gaming as well, with passing the controller back and forth. And Steam? Probably. The Steam Link or something from a PC. I don't know if it's on. Uh, uh, ooh, see if I can get your hot worm here. Oh, that's not so good. <laughs> Just you wait. 45 damage. Yeah, Let's see what damage Surprise. I can do. <laughs> good luck. I'm on it. I'm on it too. Oh, sweet. That's okay. <laughs> oh no, another sheep. No! I'm pretty sure I can. You can get me with a sheep, I think. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. There you go. <laughs> so, I'll show you. You can even play multiplayer, local multiplayer, on remote play. So, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe while mm. I try to take out Spicy down here. Also, like, press that thumbs up. Yes. While I send the sheep off to Spicy. Oh, poor Spicy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> spicy is all at sea. Alright, I'll see you next time in the next video.